Well, I kept putting this off. Uh, we're going to do test the lithium ion that I built in the winter. It's all charged up and ready to go. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to throw a volt meter on it just for a little bit of protection so we don't under, under, uh, under volt the cells. I'm trying to remember what the cutoff voltage is for um, lithium ion. I'll have to look it up. But um, I'm going to connect her on there. And I didn't totally charge up my bigger cells because I don't want to overvolt my bike too much because this is 24 volt. And uh, my bike's only set up for 48 volt in the, in the 13s, so this might be a touch much. We'll see. There's after the test. It shows there because I shut it off, but it was like uh, 2.1 kilometers. Just a quick test. And finishing readings. Well, I'm actually kind of impressed on how well this uh, this pack held up. I have a 1200 watt 40 amp controller and it basically just got mildly warm. It didn't uh, have a problem with uh, pushing the amps to get my bike up to speed. So it's, it's fine. I mean, you would need one the size of that Pelican case there to uh, use on an e-bike, but as a tester pack that was... I was totally blown away by how well it works. I'll probably make that into some kind of backup for my um, inverter or something like that, but I uh, won't be using that on the e-bike. But um, as a tester, uh, I'm, I'm looking at what my next e-bike battery is going to be. I think it may be two Pelican cases full of uh, lithium-ion. So I'm, uh, I'm impressed. It held up.